from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Another warm day in the books. Meteorologist Jason Adams will let you know when a cool down is coming. But first, let's get to your ABC Action News headlines. Good morning to you. I'm Vanessa Ariza. The United States, now the first country in the world to reach 100,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus. But one good sign to put it into perspective, the U.S. has conducted more coronavirus tests than any other country. Here in Florida, the State Department of Health is reporting nearly 3,200 confirmed cases. Last week, there were around 500 confirmed cases. On Thursday, a 71-year-old woman in Hillsborough County died from the disease. She is the second person in the county and one of 46 Floridians to lose their life. Historic help now on the way for millions of Americans dealing with financial setbacks caused by coronavirus. President Donald Trump signing a $2.2 trillion aid package. This is the largest in U.S. history. Americans who earn $75,000 or less will receive a check for $1,200 in the next few weeks. If you're a couple, you may get as much as $2,400, but that amount could be reduced the more money you make. And if you have a child, you will receive $500 per kid. Chichu Restaurant Group is offering free meals to its employees who had their hours cut or were temporarily laid off because of COVID-19. The restaurant group owns a number of restaurants here in the Bay Area. They include Fresh Kitchen, Daily Eats, and Green Lemon. They are giving free meals to their employees Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. If you are an employee, you can pick them up at Love Child on South Howard Avenue in Tampa. It is not OK for our employees to not be OK. So anyone that is in a position that we certainly would never dream of them to be in, we're going to make sure that we're taking care of them and that we are doing everything we can. The restaurant group is also offering 50 percent off meals to all first responders when they eat at locations within the restaurant group. Now let's get you to some good news out this morning. Meteorologist Jason Adams with a look at your Saturday. And it's going to be a warm one. We're talking about record potential breaking highs for us not only for our inland spots, but even near the beaches, we could see highs approaching record levels. So we're going to see mostly sunny skies throughout the day, temperatures from the 70s and 80s in the morning, up into the lower 90s in the afternoon. But some of our inland locations could be as hot as 95 degrees. Notice, though, near the beaches, we're sitting generally into the mid to upper 80s to around 90 degrees, but you only have to travel about 15 to 20 miles away from the coast before you start seeing those mid 90s show up. The hottest temperatures could be around 95 to 96. The feels like temperature, though, even hotter, making it feel like 97 to 98 degrees. This heat also lasts through Tuesday, but by Wednesday into Thursday next week, finally some cooler air returns. Jason, thank you. ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device. We'll see you there all morning long.